Hello again. This is Sid. In this video, you'll learn how to spot common GPU issues and explore potential solutions. Don't forget to subscribe for future updates. First, we will explore issues such as visual artifacts, garbage, etc. There is a difference between artifacts of a graphics card and other devices. Therefore, we will identify the key differences between each one of them. Monitor-related artifacts often appear as lines, shading, or indications of screen burn-in. If you notice sudden fluctuations or scattered greenish pixels on your display, this issue is frequently associated with the display cable or the connector adapter. To address this issue, inspect physical connections. Consider using an alternative adapter or cable. It is advisable to replace the faulty component promptly. Graphical issues such as random light spots, moving colorful artifacts, and red tints across the display is commonly referred to as a glitch, typically attributed to faulty graphics drivers or an incompatible GPU. Updating the graphics drivers can often resolve this issue. We will now focus on identifying GPU artifacts associated with hardware issues. Begin by observing the patterns of these artifacts as illustrated in these images. These artifacts will occur during every gameplay session. Each artifact typically maintains a consistent size but the arrangement may vary. At times, artifacts may appear perfectly aligned in a grid formation, while at other times, they may show up as random distortions or garbage on the screen. If these artifacts or garbage distortions only appear during gaming, it's advisable to first check your RAM sticks. However, if you determine that the issue is related to the GPU, it may require general maintenance. Inspect for dust buildup on the fan and ventilation areas of the heatsink. Carefully remove any dust using an air blower or a soft brush. For certain GPUs, this assembly may be necessary, but be aware that this could void any existing warranty. If cleaning the GPU did not resolve the issue, you can attempt to reseat the GPU in the PCI Express slot. Additionally, repasting the thermal compound may also help rectify the problem. Now, if visual artifacts appear, even when not gaming, accompanied by crashes or during system boot up, it is advisable to initiate the warranty claim process for your GPU. If the warranty has expired, you may consider attempting repairs. However, I recommend caution as the success rate is uncertain. It's a 50-50 kind of thing. Often, GPUs do not perform reliably after being repaired. Up next, we're going to discuss overheating. This is crucial because it not only causes random crashes and freezing during gameplay but also shortens the lifespan of your graphics card. When your GPU hits its maximum thermal limits, it throttles itself to lower temperatures, which in turn reduces overall performance. A temporary solution is to lower the graphics quality in your game settings. A long-term solution would be to reapply thermal paste and install a cooling solution inside your PC case. Another option is to use voltage control software, which allows you to adjust the fan speed curves. There are several applications available, such as MSI Afterburner, that can help with this. We also created a video on this topic Feel free to visit our channel or check the link in the description for more information. The next topic is BSOD crashes. Your games or 3D applications may crash unexpectedly during a session or at startup, which can often be linked to overclocking. As mentioned earlier, overclocking may also void your warranty. To address this, disable any overclock settings and revert to factory defaults. Another potential cause of crashes could be your memory sticks. Remove the sticks and insert them one at a time to identify any faulty modules. Additionally, insufficient power supply to your GPU can lead to system restarts or crashes as GPUs require significant power. Verify the power requirements for your GPU and replace the power supply if necessary. To restore factory defaults on your GPU, simply go to System in GPU Control Panel Settings. From there, you can reset settings to default. The black screen or no display issue occurs when the monitor fails to receive a signal from the GPU, resulting in messages such as no signal or cable not connected on the screen. After a period of inactivity, the monitor may enter sleep mode 
indicated by an orange LED light. While the PC is powered on, you can test functionality by pressing the num lock key. If the LDD on the keyboard toggles on, off, this confirms that the system is operational, except the GPU. If you have an integrated graphics on the motherboard, remove the GPU and insert the display or cable in your motherboard's HDMI port and see if it posts anything on monitor. If it boots up, go to your BIOS and select Auto Mode for your integrated graphics. Reset the GPU and check if your PC gives any display. If your PC still does not display any output, it may be due to the PCI Express power connector not being connected to your GPU. It varies depending on the model of your GPU. Ensure that you connect the appropriate connector. In most cases of hardware failure, the GPU is often the most critical component affected. Here are some tips to help keep your GPU in optimal condition. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next time.